Hey guys, uh, today is our uh, mini guitar lesson number whatever it is. I don't know, I lost the count of time. Today we're going to discuss uh, something very magical. Uh, the previous lesson I did is about the what's called the diminished sixth scale. So I call it the harmonic major scale. To remind you when you have a flat six in your scale, right? Now I'm going to talk about the magic of the diminished scale overall and how to apply it. Composers such as Bach, Mozart, Chopin also, Beethoven, and so on and so forth, Stravinsky, Rachmaninoff, uh, did very unique harmonies. And if you listen to it, it's very emotional, it's very greatly done. So this is the trick of the diminished scale. And I think the diminished scale overall is the secret to music, because music is about movements, it's not about the scales. Right? It's, it has nothing to do with any of the modes, such as Dorian, Fridge, and so on and so forth. It's irrelevant, because music is not about that. Music is about moving the notes in the motion. I showed you previously in C major how to do this, and now I'm going to show you in C minor in order to create this kind of emotional blues. So here's a blues idea, right? This is a C minor. Then you go to the fourth chord, which is the F minor. Right? And then the fifth could be a major minor. Let's do a ma uh, minor. Now, remember how the, so the minor cyst creates this kind of uh, ideas of different tonalities, right? Four tonalities. We'll do the same thing with the, with the minor. For example, I do one, then you go two, and two you go... Right? What would happen? Right? I go into dominant chord here. Again, from the second. In other words, in theory, I play the extended down. Basically, I have the D dominant. See? But I did the minor. The reason why it's the minor because I'm playing part of the diminished scale. Okay, so if I do the same idea as I did in the major in the previous lesson, I have the one, right, two, then I skip, right, same. If you look at the pattern, what I'm doing here, it's a very much a diminished scale. I do one whole step, half step, whole step, half step, whole step, half step, whole step, half step, and so on and so forth. Then we have a scale like this. Right? And then you keep, and then you keep going, right? Again. Right? And when we create harmonies, how Mozart did, Bach did, and Stravinsky, and, and Rachmaninoff, the way we do this, through the any of the dominant function of the chord, will create our melody movements through the diminished scale. So for example, if I do like that, so I do. And I can create chords of that. For example, I can do chords like this. For example, from the fifth, third, right? Right? Again. Or. Right? And then if you have this, you can do the minor thirds. resolves back to one. That's a secret to things like that. For example, in other words, 
you can always go through the diminished scales uh, with your movements, right? So I can do things like that. I can do a, a beautiful chord again. can do right and I can do see it's two diminished scales together now let's create a very unique exercise here when we have our blues right and we'll do every movement through the diminished and I'll show you the diminished chord with it right and how you can play with it so for example the exercise how you do it guys uh, as you see I want a lot of chromatic ideas right for example I went to all the way to the B minor right but then I went again C and I do quarter and back to the dominant to one so what that means as in classical music as in Bach and, and Mozart you could just go to any uh, tonality as, as you wish, whatever the emotion leads you to. It doesn't matter if it's a major or minor, you see the scale is the same. So this is again Secret to Music. I hope uh, I opened your eyes a little bit and I'll see you next time. Ciao.